interactive section with stakeholders in the oil industry by the Nigerian Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating alleged economic sabotage in the Nigerian petroleum sector turned into a forum for accusations and counter accusation on Wednesday in Abuja. Amid pervasive allegations of sabotage in the petroleum industry, the Senate raised questions over $1.5 billion approved in 2021 for the turnaround maintenance of the Portacot refinery with little or no result. In his opening remarks, the Senate leader and chairman of the committee, Okoyemi Bamedeli, had pleaded with stakeholders not to resort to blame games, but to show calm and understanding. You will agree with me that this is truly a challenging period in the recent history of our fatherland. The supply of refined petroleum products has been irregular and problematic. The long queues at filling stations is also a testament to this challenge. A situation whereby we now depend almost entirely on the importation of these products, even when we daily supply the world about 2% of its crude oil requirements, is to say the least highly worrisome. We also have at hand a grievous issue of national concern that directly borders on the importation of hazardous and substandard petroleum products. And uh, the essence of today's meeting is one for us to be able to meet with the stakeholders and to be able to also uh, make you to be a part of our agenda setting and most importantly to be able to appeal to all stakeholders in the meantime saying let the accusations and counter accusations you know stop um, we understand the concern of nigerians a lot of nigerians are concerned about ensuring that we do not kill local initiative and local invest investment will allow them to survive just like a lot of nigerians are also concerned about ensuring that we do not consciously inaugurate a monopoly you know uh, which not serve overriding public interests and which will not be consistent with global best practice standards. All these are issues, but in the meantime, while we work with you to address all of this, we call on all our stakeholders. But Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Malek Kayari, in his submission, exonerated his company, saying it is not responsible for the importation of adulterated products into Nigeria. Kayari particularly said the substandard products are actually smuggled into the country. See what's happening in the media. Targeted personal attack on my person, on the institution. And we all know how this works. They are delivered, they are calculated, so that create the impression that the NMPC Limited and our leadership are doing anything to create economic sabotage in our country. It is far from it, Mr. Chairman. This company has grown, Mr. Chairman. We are proud to say this. From a lost company for 43 years to a profit-making company today, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this is very clear from everything you have said through this investigative hearing that you can see the majority of the issues you have read have nothing to do with the NMPC Limited. Yet, everybody believes by sharing this information, which my minister has highlighted, that NMPC is responsible for creating any economic sabotage in our country. Mr. Chairman, there are rules, there are regulators. We follow the rules. Nobody will bring product into this country that doesn't make specifications. If it does happen, it's crime. And it couldn't have passed any, through any regulatory institution. It is impossible. We all know what happens. Smuggling does take place. And I'm happy that the customs service is here. No one can, de 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 can deny that smuggling takes place across our border. But for PMS and every other commodity that I can think of, this is real. Mr. Chairman, when the details come, we will tell you what we know. Mr. Chairman, I, I suggest also that you should be set, set light so that everybody will hear what is going on in, in, the, in the industry. There is a commitment to dealing with these issues. And the focus also remains uh, in the 
oil and gas industry in improving incentives already. Mr. President has signed some executive orders which have meant that oil and gas investments, particularly in the gas sector, have started to flow back. We saw a $500 million investment just a couple of weeks ago, and we are told there are about $7 billion naira dollars, sorry, $7 billion, there was a $500 billion investment already made and around $7 billion on the sidelines waiting for the correct investment environment. The outlook for oil prices for the rest of this year beyond is uh, positive, is strong. We expect uh, uh, the price of oil to stay relatively high and so we must seize this opportunity. Amongst other things, we must seize this opportunity to maximize the whole oil and gas sector value chain. We are committed as a country in order to ensure that we we'll complete the rehabilitation of those refineries so that we can reduce the level of import that you know um, we need you know, to be able to uh, serve the needs of Nigerians. We are also committed to supporting the Dakota refinery. We are committed to supporting the modular refineries. And we have been resolving whatever issues that they have brought to our attention to, uh, uh, from time to time. Right now, as I said, we've bought about 50 million barrels of crude. About 60% of that comes from NIPC, and we are thankful to them for, for their support. Uh, and we hope we'll continue to get this support. About 20% of that had to be imported uh, from outside, and then 20% we purchased. So that's our third question. Um, and we count on uh, support of the committee, the regulators, and other stakeholders to ensure that the refinery succeeds. Because if it does, aside from the other obvious benefits, like FX generation, job creation, and the rest, most importantly, there is the psychological benefit of making, like, giving Nigerians and Africans in general the confidence that we can succeed. We can build big things and make them successful. And that in itself is... It is pertinent to know that the value chain in the downstream should be sustained to allow other investors to continue to play their role effectively. This will go a long way in protecting those who, are, who have invested in the oil and gas sector. If man as a body, sir, will like to use this medium to solicit the support of the Senate to ensure that there is a level playing ground in this sector of the economy. By ensuring that the refineries, storage facilities, owners, and if man that have the retail outlet should not be distorted by allowing monopoly to set in. Meanwhile, the ad hoc committee investigating the importation of adulterated petroleum products had vowed to reveal the identity of people behind the importation as dangerous foil circulate across the country.